Hi everybody, I'm Jesse and welcome back to another chem sketch tutorial while I teach you some of the tips and tricks of how to get the most out of a chem sketch. This one's going to be a little bit different than some of the ones I've done in the past because I'm actually going to be going through some of the material that was in a recent blog post that we did that was about Marcuse structures and how those can be used. So for those who don't know, a Marcuse structure is a way of displaying a chemical structure, a organic chemical structure that has some ambiguity in it because um, either you want some flexibility as to what the different groups could be or where they're going to be within the structure. This is particularly useful for things like um, patenting. Um, if you want to be able to patent a range of molecules uh, using this, this is a, a way to cover all of them or at least a, a range of them. These do have some other applications too outside of patent law, such as um, in metabolite uh, studies or when you're elucidating structures or when you're representing mixtures as well, when there's a, a range of different you know, positions in a complex mixture for whatever reason. Um, but we're gonna jump right into ChemSketch and take a look at how you can show these and what they look like. So the more, most common type of Marcuse structure is actually just a radical structure. So we're gonna to go to our trusty benzene ring right here. We are going to add a bond on just so we have uh, something to um, work with here. And then the radical label button is right down here. So there's actually a lot that's in here of different numbers of radicals that you can choose between, um, you know, either, you know, the, the uh, upper mark notation or the lower notation. Um, we're gonna just gonna use straight old R right here. So now we have an R group uh, here. So that, that is something that some people People don't know, you know how to get to, but that's technically a Marcuse structure. Just uh, we're using a um, substituent level uh, ambiguity there because obviously a lot of things could be used in that position. Okay, but that was obviously pretty easy, but we have a slightly more difficult one, so pretty easy. Here to switch uh, it up with, we're going to build a short chain off of our friendly little benzene ring, clean up the structure here. We have this as is a nice chain that we can work off of, and we're going to select the brackets tool. Uh, you see this little menu that pops up in the corner that is going to be what we're going to be using, changing the index here to N. And then we're going to apply it. This is a little warning comes up. We don't need to worry about that. But the um, net result here is that we have an N bracket here, which allows us to uh, change that, uh, indicate what the range of N that could be in this um, you know, chain here. So obviously this is a lot of flexibility here that you could um, include this as being a very long chain length if that's something that you wanted to do. So that that's technically a marquee structure as well. But also, this is a useful little thing that you have access to that if you don't know, that's where the brackets tool is, and that you can also use that N nomenclature or other um, you know, indicators you know, like N if uh, you prefer to use something else for whatever application. So that's called frequency variation. We can take a look at Mercutian bonds as well. Uh, we're going to select those and then we're going to press this little Mercutian bond with shadow button and add that on. So we now have our friendly little a uh, carbon group here that we have um, attached to it, but it's been attached to this shadow, which indicates that this could be attached to any of these three sites on the ring, in the three, three positions on the ring. I mean, obviously these two are identical with one another, but you know, bear with me uh, here. Um, but you can also change this, of course, into uh, an OH group if you wanted to. Um, you could build a chain off of this if you want to. You can do whatever you want with, with this. So it doesn't have to be specifically just a um, CH group because that would obviously be very limiting. Now, let's say you're somebody like me who's quite the stickler for uh, your presentation and look, and you're not really feeling this hashed um, you know, appearance. So we're going to go back and put on our Marcuse uh, bond with the, the shadow to it. We're going to select these properties uh, menu down here. And then we have a little uh, box that pops up that allows us to change the way in which our Marcuse um, bonds are displayed. Now there is uh, uh, numbers of them, which means that you can have more than one of these on at once. I haven't actually tried with six or more. Yeah, do that on your own um, if, if you'd like. But let's say that I wanted this to be, you know, just a solid you know, red here 
we can apply that here and we have a solid shadow as opposed to the hash shadow. Um, so once again, like that depends on you know, where you're publishing. You know, if this is just in a black and white publication, you can imagine this is pretty hard to, to read, um, but the, it is something that you do have access to these uh, property changes if that's something that you care passionately about. Hopefully that's all you need to know about Mark Hughes structures, but if you did want more detail, you can always check out that blog post that I mentioned in the beginning. There is some more detail that I wasn't able to fit into this episode, but uh, you can get a little bit more there. But thank you so much for hanging out. Be sure to follow the channel to get more updates like this. I'll leave a comment to let me know if there's any other subjects that you'd like me to cover. And uh, you'll follow us on all the other social media channels. We're really active on LinkedIn and uh, Twitter, for example. We also have a Facebook page, uh, so I'd love to see you on all of those. So thank you so much for hanging out once again and happy sketching folks.